Hi, hello and welcome. Lou Abbott here, founding editor of MLMTheWholeTruth.com, author of the book by the same name. Glad to have you with me here wherever you are, wherever time it is and whatever part of the world you're in. I've got a, a quick topic today that I've had on my mind for a long time that I want to share with you. I'm going to talk about binary compensation plans and give you the bottom line. I'm going to give you the pros and cons very quickly. But then what I'm going to do, and it's going to make some of you angry, let me apologize up front, I'm going to talk about what I think is still the big unsolvable problem about binary compensation plans, why they're bad for the industry. So my intent's not to, to, to anger anybody, but as the MLM whole truth guy, I've got to say what's good and bad for the industry. That's my primary concern, and that's my primary motivation. So let me give a little credit where credit is due. Here's something Khalil Gibran said that I really like. He said, the obvious is that which is never seen until someone expresses it simply. And I've built two medium-sized businesses, respectable businesses with binary compensation plans. I've experienced some of the pros and the cons and tried to work with them in various ways to make them the most fair possible. But someone I'm going to introduce to you in just a little bit uh, made it so clear to me that it was obvious that binary compensation plans are inherently unfair. Now, if you don't want to hear that, I suggest you stop the video now, all right? But uh, I'm going to get to that in just a minute. First, let's talk about the pros. This is what's always been good about a binary compensation plan. You only have to build two legs. Distributors, on average, only sponsor two to three people. So the, the, the sales pitch has always been, well, you get two, then you help them get two, and you help them get two. Everybody can get two and it'll grow like crazy. And uh, so that has been very appealing. You only have to build two legs. The early stair-step breakaway, sometimes you had to build six legs across that were successful legs or 12 legs across before you could get paid for the whole comp plan. It was only two in binaries. <clears throat> Spillover. Spillover is when somebody in your upline, your sponsor, or somebody else in your upline places people below you. If you can only sponsor two people and you have somebody strong as your sponsor, chances are they're going to put some people below you. That's called spillover. You didn't sponsor them. People like to get spillover. Infinite depth. Well, you can't get paid on infinite depth on both legs, but on one of the legs you can, and you can also get paid in the other legs depending on certain aspects of the compensation plan. And then what's considered to be a pro is multiple business centers. I have mixed feelings about that where you can actually get paid multiple times on the same volume because you open up more than one position one more than one distributorship at a time. They call that business centers. And then matching bonuses. Matching bonuses, I think, solved a big problem with binary compensation plans. If you ended up with one of your best leaders in your strong leg or somebody in your strong leg that you wanted to work with, there was no incentive prior to matching bonuses coming along to work with them. So if you didn't get paid on their volume, why would you want to work with them other than out of the goodness of your heart? Well, we're here to make some money in network marketing. That's what it's about. It's a business. And so matching bonuses were a very smart improvement. They said that the people you personally sponsored or people in a line directly below from where you personally sponsored people, you could earn a percentage of whatever you help them make in binary commissions. I like the idea of matching bonuses. And then there's power legs. Uh, power legs is when someone strong says, I'm building a real strong leg. I'm keeping everybody on the outside. And so you only have to build one leg. I believe that's turned into uh, that whole power leg concept. Not a pro, but a con. All right, so you're going to see it on this list too. What are the cons of binary compensation plans? Well, you've got to balance the legs. Company can't pay infinite depth on, on both legs. It just won't work. Company will go out of business. So they limit it in various ways. So you have to balance your legs. For example, you've, there's the one-third, two-third balances, the 50-50 balances. I think more often than not nowadays in comp plans, you're just seeing they pay 10% of the volume, 10 to 15% of the volume on the weaker, on the smaller of the two legs. You don't get paid at all on the larger of the two legs. Um, spillover, I believe, to some extent, is a con. Why is it a con? Because it creates a entitleship mentality. People are waiting for other people to do it for them. If all we attracted in network marketing were people who are waiting for other people to do it for them, guess what? There would be zero business. All right. So I don't particularly like the idea of, of spillover. Binary creep. 
in some of the early binary compensation plans, the companies found that they, they were paying out too much money to top leaders and they kept paying more and more of their total percentage of sales out and that made the company not viable. That was uh, ultimately solved by caps. We talked about that a little bit ago, but that was one of the cons early on. And then power legs. Now let's talk about power legs for just a minute. Uh, I'm going to talk about it in the concept of binary games. Oh, the games that are played in network marketing at times, right? What happens with power legs? Well, leaders demand to be placed in a power leg. They know about them. They know if they're enrolling with a top leader and a strong recruiter that they can end up in one leg where one leg's built for them, right? So if you join early, and uh, they, a lot of folks will join early, take a position in a power leg, but a lot of times the leaders will say, listen, I'm only gonna work though when you develop that power leg below me. And that, as I said earlier, develops this entitlement mentality, which I think is very bad for network marketing. I mean, entitlement mentality is destroying our country. I think it's also bad for network marketing as it is in generally. And then binary compensation plans are inherently unfair. Now I'm gonna turn the, the, the screen over to Jeff Olson. Jeff Olson is an, a legend in the industry of network marketing, really. He's built downline groups of over 400,000 people. So you know that is an epic size group. You have to really know what you're doing. You have to keep the system simple. You have to build up people and it has to be brilliantly done to build that size business. I mean, most distributors would be tickled to have 400 distributors. 4,000 is a very profitable business. 40,000 is huge. 400,000 is absolutely epic. Well, Jeff Olson's done that, so he knows something about the industry. But more than that, he's been the CEO of several companies. He was the founder and CEO of the People's Network, a uh, successful network marketing company that had self-development tools, a very important part, I think, of a culture of a successful network marketing company. He's the author of a very popular book in the industry called The Slide Edge, perhaps one of the best success books, general success books of all time. I very much like it, very simple which is what it takes, by the way, to build a, a big, huge, duplicating downline, is simplicity. And all in all, one of the best loved and respected leaders in our industry. So I'm gonna turn the screen over to Jeff Olson. He talks about binary compensation plans. He stated what I think is now that I've heard it seems obvious, but I hadn't seen it before. All right, so listen closely and see if you don't agree with Jeff Olson. I'll tell you what we're not. What we're not is we don't play games. Now, somebody would be offended by this, but I'm just going to tell you where I'm coming from. We're not a binary. And I show it very cleanly against the binary. I think binaries are wrong. Okay? A lot of people have questioned me on this. And when I go through this, I haven't anybody ever been able to come back with a rebuttal that really makes sense. Okay? Because here's what you know. In a binary, we all understand it's two legs. You have a power leg and you have a pay leg. And what happens, anybody who knows anything about the direct sales industry, and anything that knows anything about binaries, okay, would never join a company unless they're in the power leg. They, they've got to get inserted in the power leg because they know that you can get inserted in the power leg and they demand to be put there and then all they have to do is pay, build their pay leg. So they don't have to build one leg. Every in their pay leg, they prey on the people who know nothing about the industry, know nothing about binaries, who they bring in. They'll never bring somebody who knows nothing and put them in a power leg. Never do that. They always put them in a pay leg because they don't know better. And those people have to build two legs versus this person has to build one leg. So the person who knows everything, been around for years, has databases, you know, influence, is seasoned, been doing it for five, ten years, they do have to do half as much as the person who doesn't know, who's out of their comfort zone, doing it for the very first time, who's dreaming to be like you, but they have to do twice as much as you do because they just didn't know. You can't tell me that's not fair. You've got to admit that's how it's done. It's the big secret. But the wrong problem that secret is the people in the, in the pay leg that didn't know or building two legs, they eventually realize that they're not in a power leg. They can't even get a powerful network marketer to get an organization because they've got to get in that, pay, that power leg. And so they realize, whoa, I, was the, I, I wasn't put in a power leg. And so what they do is they leave you to go to another company where they now become the person who says, I've got to be in the power leg. So in essence, you've got people who don't know being put into pay legs who eventually leave and go into power legs to bring people in to 
Pele's do the same thing. So it's just this revolving door, and there's no stability there. And it's been proven over and over and over what I'm saying. I'm just saying, we're not playing games like that. Okay, thanks so much for attending. If you found this presentation in some other way than by direction from the book, because you already purchased it, if you found it other than that way, you can learn more about my special report. It's a special report, a course. There's some multimedia content with it, of which this is one piece that ties into one of the, the subtitles in one of the chapters. But you can find it at mlm-thewholetruth.com. And I'll look forward to uh, relating to you in other ways. All right, my friends, I wish you the very best of success. Take care.